Zoe is a four-year-old standard poodle, and she's very loving and sweet. Hey, you want water? Okay, girl. I can help you. Water was actually the second button that I introduced in addition to food. I wanted her to have a way to communicate to me when her bowls were empty. I put the food and water buttons right next to her food and water bowls in the beginning, and I'd invite her to come over it impress it and then praise her a lot for it. We spent some time really trying to get her to understand the difference between those two buttons and make her actually pay attention to the noise that the button made. So I'd press water, pour a little water from the pitcher into her bowl, and then repeat it. My number one tip for somebody just starting with the water button is to be patient. And then I'd say giving a lot of repeated practice. Zoe uses the water button every day now. And when I see her do things like that, it, it makes me really happy because I feel like that's definite evidence that she is making that solid connection between the word and what she's looking for.